Hello, all you fire alarm enthusiasts, and now it's time for a demonstration on how to wire a pull station to a uh, horn strobe or notification appliance without a control panel. But first, I'll set them off, and then I'll explain how they get wired. But first, we'll move to our first device. We have a Firelight BG-8 pull station. Um, yeah, you've probably seen these before. Yeah, they're pretty small. And I also have a Spectralert Advanced SPSR to use as a um, strobe. And this thing just fell out of its battery. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Okay. So I'm just going to activate it with a key because that's kind of hard to do with one hand. You know how this works when you pull the fire alarm post. Yeah. So I'll just keep it like that. So here we go. And the fire alarm automatically starts. When the pull station has been pulled. And I just learned to do this myself not too long ago. So now I can wire it without my control panel. So it's pretty cool. So I easier with mini systems like that one that you saw earlier. So over here I have a Silent Night BG-12S. That's what I call it. It's mostly... That's what... If it was the Firelight version, it's called the BG-12S. So that. And an EST Genesis horn strobe. It's a two-wire horn strobe, so... It's really hard to do this with a four-wire alarm because you have to loop the wiring, but this is easy enough. So, let's go ahead and pull down. Oh, gosh. That's loud. Yeah. That is quite loud. It's a 15 Candela model. And yeah, Code 3 Temporal Horn. So I'll just pull it one more time. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And now I'm going to show you how these things are wired. So... When you have an EST Genesis Chime Strobe, you probably know what the back looks like. Pretend, or I'll draw it on a piece of paper for you. While I do it out for you. This is going to be fun, but you guys are going to have to listen closely to this. This is going to be kind of hard to explain. So, you've got... Your fire alarm board here, we'll just draw it simply. I wish I could put this up on a tripod, but whatever. One second. Okay. So, whoop, phone. Sorry. There. Off. Good. So, we have our um, horn strobe. We're going to pretend that this is the EST Genesis. We all know that on an EST Genesis, there's two screw terminals. Just pretend those are screw terminals. And let me take my green Sharpie. One second. Good. Positive. Got your negative. And let me draw the back of the pole station. Now these are the wires. So let me do this. Positive, negative, positive, negative. So the positive has the circle around it. So. Now you're going to wire your negative wire and bring it down to the negative wire on the pull station. Either it could be also screw terminals too, but I'm not doing it at screw terminals. And also, you're going to take your positive wire, pretend that this is the big battery pack, and this is... You've got these ends of the batteries. So this is the positive, and that's the negative. You can see the positive and the negative symbols there. You would take your positive wire of the horn strobe and bring it to the positive wire of the battery, like I did there, in that circuit. And you take the pos positive wire of the pull station, bring it to the negative wire of the uh, alarm. And when you pull this, this creates a circuit to this. So, when you pull it, the alarm goes off.
yeah. See, that's how I did it. It runs off of 27 volts, this one. That one's only 9 volts, and you can do the same thing, exact. So, yeah, that's how you wire up some fire alarms without a pull station. This video was really hard to do, but let me put the cap on this. I managed to do it. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed and learned something. Well, now, why don't you go try this by yourself? If you're wondering how, if you don't know how to wire it yet, go ahead and try it by yourself, and I guarantee it'll work great for you. So, thank you, and have a nice day.